So we've already touched on the notion of convention in previous lectures. For instance, we talked about the conventional rule of Kant of assertion. That said that you assert something just in case you follow some conventional rule for asserting. And when we thought about that account, we thought of conventions as sort of socially instituted rules. We didn't, however, say a lot about what they were beyond that. And this is going to be the focus of today's lecture. The exclusive focus is going to be Lewis's theory of convention. And interestingly, this is quite a different conception of what conventions are. They don't actually look like the kinds of socially instituted rules that we were talking about in previous lectures. As you'll have seen from the reading, the material is quite complex and requires a lot of prior concepts to get a grip on Lewis's definition of convention. So in the first video, we're going to focus on introducing the idea of a coordination problem and some ideas from game theory. Once we have those in hand, we can move on to think about coordination games, Lewis's definition of them, and of coordination equilibria. Those in turn allow us to give a first pass at Lewis's definition of convention in terms of coordination, equilibria, and regularity. However, we're going to see that there are some problems with that definition, problems particular to do with the ideas of mutual belief and mutual expectation that we've already talked about when we talked about Stolniker last week. So I'm going to outline what that problem is and why this idea of common expectation is supposed to help. Then in the final video, I'm going to explicitly show how Lewis's thinking about common expectation maps on to the idea we were talking about before of expectation or belief at all levels.